hockey, football, some of my favorite sports, whatever that may be. Uh, every now and then I get a chance to go fishing, which is awesome. Used to do a, quite a bit of golf, might bring that back. And then uh, I'd love to go see bands, go see other bands, man. I'm, I'm always on 10, I never really turn my knob off, so I'm, I'm going full blast. And uh, always gotta have a few cocktails to go along with it. And that's how I unwind when I'm on the road. You want to do it right and proper that's pretty that's pretty over the top man i mean it's it's literally it's a lifestyle change that you kind of have to do it if you want to do it to your potential and the way that i look at it it's like if my voice is 100 percent, just the way i am in my my soul with my my personal pride and, and the band pride what what i bring i want to i want to be the best i can be for the band i want to be the best i can be for the band so if my voice is 100 percent, i'm going to give you 100 percent of that 100 percent there's no question about it but there is an attrition to your voice uh that happens when you play multiple days in a row you know what i mean like you're you got a day off or you're just starting starting a tour the first day you're gonna be just fucking banging spot on the second day the way that i personally sing you know i just fucking i put everything i got out there and i just use the show my voice i try to do it as correctly as i can but sometimes emotion just takes over and uh so 100%, I'm gonna give you 100%. If only 80% of my voice is, uh, is is there to be had, I will give you 100% of that 80%. Day three or four, maybe my voice is only at a 40% capacity, but I'm gonna give you a goddamn 100% of that 40%, and that's just the bottom fucking line. Well, you know, you, you have to rest on the road. I'm a huge fan of uh, of siestas. To keep, that's to keep you looking young and beautiful. Usually your 4 o'clock a.m. to your 2 p.m. is your good window for sleep. That's what you're really looking for. Get in there. What's that, 8, eight 10 hours? After that, I'm usually good for the day. Maybe uh, between when we play at 11 o'clock at night, I'll go take a little... Uh, it's, a, it's 20 minutes, so you need a 20-minute nap. Any time of the day, any time of the night. You do that, and you can do it the next day. And then you can do it the next day. And then you have an off day, and then you go eat a lot of food, and you go take a nap, and then you go eat some more. You have a drink, and then you take a nap, and then you watch National Geographic for hours on end. And then you go to sleep about three or four, and you wake up about noon, and you're starting all over again. <laughs> now I'm gonna stand here and wait to eat. So I hope you have some time on your hands. Let's see what time it is. We eat when we get a chance, usually wake up pretty late, try to eat whatever. Coffee, coffee's a must before I eat any food. Has to happen. Uh, today I ate Wendy's, fucking terrible. Eat what you can, when you can. Just got done with sound check, and I'm um, gonna go find a couple tacos, go do a meet and greet, and uh, Take a couple bites, shake some hands, sign some shit, take a couple more bites, sign some shit, shake some hands. It's about all I'm about ready to do. I can't really stop talking right now because I'm so hungry. What's going on? I've got a question for the guys in Escape the Fate. I'd like to know, actually it's two questions in one. What do you guys like to do when you're off time? Like in between shows, you got a day off, what do you like to do to unwind and just chill, relax, or if not, what do you like to do? And uh, who is the cut up in your band? 